Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Senator Sessions says there's a deliberate plan by Obama to basically collapse America, its borders. Well, no kidding. I've said for years there's a fiat legalization. Stan Deo, who I want to get back on in the near future, is our guest. StanDeo.com. Again, i got to be honest. I heard him. I've got to be over a decade ago talking about earthquakes and, and, and the super volcano and talking about uh, all this stuff. And I was just like, that guy sounds credible. But me, you know, that's just... This is just fun talk radio stuff. I'm not going to have this guy on. And then just over the years, I keep hearing him like, wow, that all happened. That all happened. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I just hope the rest of it doesn't come true. But, uh, yeah, California, what will happen uh, conservatively compared to other earthquakes uh, in, in you know, similar fault lines, according to the geology, uh, you know, unsanitized uh, through the federal government, according to your sources, what will happen if it kicks off on average? Will it have like a 8.0 or could it be big like Japan, even higher? Well, the northern uh, California, the Juan de Fuca plate is already uh, rated at 9, Richter 9 plus, And that's on the new system, which uh, typically uh, records a slightly lower value. So um, an earthquake there could then trigger the San Andreas Fault and a number of parallel faults in California, breaking it up into a series of islands more than just the whole West Coast falling That off, could be a blessing, actually. Yeah, I, I know, I know. I'm being you sarcastic, know, folks. I, <laughs> California's I a beautiful state. There's a lot of great people in it, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know what's been going on there, though, and it's... Uh, I'm hoping the wise people there have uh, moved out. Certainly, we've seen an influx of many of the Californians over the last 10 years into Colorado getting, you know, into a better area. And they're now uh, taking your guns, yes, they... Well, no, no, I mean, look... No, uh, I, mean, I mean, they wreck their state and they come to Texas and Colorado and try to pass anti-gun laws. You see this this vest I've got here made in Colorado? Yes, you sir. You know, by Colorado Leather? Right in there is where you put your pistol. It's a uh, concealed carry... Um, no, I love Colorado. I'm just saying the Democrats have moved there and are passing anti-gun laws. Yeah, well, we're trying to stop that now. Then we've been good about having a couple of our senators recalled. You know, uh, friends of ours have helped to organize that. And uh, No, you've done great. You've done great. I'm sorry to go off on a jag. That's all right. Now, listen, one thing I do want to say here, Alex, is this. We talk about these frightening, threatening things, and um, I, I don't want to leave people just fearful with no answers. Uh, neither does Holly, and that's why she puts up that website every day and lots of preparation information for free on it. Um, hard copy stuff you can get in her book, Dare to Prepare, and in my book, The Cosmic Conspiracy. Those two help you to prepare for the immediate future, spiritually and physically, you know, practically and, and uh, philosophically. And so understand that it's not our job to frighten you. It is our job to, to help you and not let you just, you know, go put your head in a pillow and say, you know, I, I can't uh, do it anymore. I, I'm, I'm running, you know, I'm sticking my head in the sand. Uh, it, we can deal with this, those of us that are prepared. And uh, I don't think we need to uh, give up our, our weapons. I don't think we need to give up our food as being hoarders, according to the government. I think we need to take a stand for that and uh, maybe put stashes of food and uh, medicine and, and uh, you know, munitions and whatever. Oh, no, I agree. We tell people how bad things are getting so they're ready for it and can deal with it. That's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, I'm, I'm certainly glad you do. I, I know you have a lot of listeners, and, uh, you know, uh, we share a, a lot of listeners as well, I suppose. But, oh, we do, uh, we do. You, you know, I just really respect so much of the info you've put out. I respect you totally, and I, I think you're a visionary on so many levels, Stan. So I hope you'll start coming on, you know, every month or so on a regular basis, and we'll get into your book, uh, The Cosmic Conspiracy, Dare to Prepare, uh, all of it. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us. 30-second closing comment. 30-second closing comment. Um, well, it's the, the old Boy Scout credo, be prepared. And uh, certainly, you know, uh, we're Christian around here, uh, Messianic Christian. And I think it's time for people to reassess their relationship with our Creator, you know, with God. Uh, things are going to get tense, and some of us will die before others. And so you need to plan for that eventuality as well. In the meantime, have community build friends and not enemies. Wow, Stan Day, a powerful interview. Thank you, sir. We'll be back with McAfee. Drugs in, keeping me legal, keep the price up, launder the money in the big private banks. Never mind
The education system dumped from the highest scores in the world, the lowest scores in the industrialized world, has been very successful. They want you stupid, just like George Carlin said. That's why education will never get better, because they want you dumb. The owners do. You see, you think they failed in Katrina. No, they got FEMA's funding doubled. They screw up and then get more power because they don't ever go to jail. They don't ever get impeached. They don't ever get kicked out. Well, guess what? She wasn't going to leave. She swore to never leave. She's now gone as if the public thinks she screwed up and, well, we got rid of who messed it up. Then they spun it today and had her say, oh, it's because Obamacare is such a success. That's the talking point. All the talking heads is a total success. But meanwhile, we've got, and after he leaves us at 45 after, I'm going to play all these clips, or maybe I'll play it with him when he's here and get his take and he stay with us to the end, whatever John McAfee wants to do. The guy that the Senate called and tried to get to fix it, he said it can't be fixed. The whole thing's a fraud. We had him on like two days after it launched. It broke here before it was on MSNBC that he'd been contacted. And that's the thing about John McAfee. I mean, I didn't know if he was telling me the truth up front with his wild stories, but all of it turned out to be true. All of it turned out on everything he ever told me to be true. So uh, pretty amazing on that front. Now we've had him on, I don't know, six, seven times. He's been here to Austin repeatedly. We've hung out, had dinner, gone shooting. Really an interesting guy. And I thought, you know, we've got the ultimate expert to come on to talk about heart bleed and just, you know, how bad is it? Canada halts online tax returns in wake of heart bleed. Heart bleed bug. Check which sites you have been patched. We've been patched before it's even got announced. Heartbleed internet security bug. Uh, and they go on to say it could take down the entire internet. Well, I think the NSA released the keys to this. Just like I said, I thought Microsoft, Israel, and the U.S. were behind Stuxnet because I went and checked with IT experts and said, who can do this? Who stands to gain? They said, Microsoft you know, has the keys to it. and It's an industrial sabotage system. It's probably Israel and the U.S. So I came out and said Israel and the U.S. I was attacked by national media. Six months later, it turned out I was right in spades. So later we're going to get into the lawlessness of the government coming out. You've got Gomert, you've got other Texas congressmen saying that uh, that uh, Holder should be arrested for contempt of Congress. You have more contempt coming down. Uh, pardon me, sir. Barntold from Texas. Yes, thanks for reminding me his name. Uh, said he should be uh, arrested. He sh should be in jail is the actual quote. Uh, we've now got Boehner saying there's a cover up with the IRS persecution. Uh, we've now got. Um, Cruz coming out and saying that they should be impeached. Holder should be impeached. We've got uh, all these other people like Senator Sessions saying that it's a criminal implosion of the government. It's a criminal takedown of our sovereignty. They're all finally saying what it is. And as more people get courage, they can't target everyone. That's why I told you my job is to say the radical truths. If it's true, I'm going to say it. If I believe it's correct and I've got the evidence, I'm going to say it. I don't care how bat you know what crazy it sounds. I told you our government, criminal elements run Al-Qaeda. told you that 16, 17 years ago. It's mainstream news today. It's a secret army being used by criminal groups to attack enemies they want to bring down, to destabilize the world and bring down this country as well. So John McAvee joins us. And it's so funny because just a week ago I was talking to him via text. He was saying, look, I've just come out with this proxy system so that they can't track it back to you with all the passwords compromised. And I was like, I get what you're saying. And he's going, he also told me in person, look, the passwords are compromised. Even if you change them, they know your IP address. That's why you've got to constantly be changing where you come into the internet. And I don't understand all this technical stuff. He was basically, I guess, talking about Heartbleed. And then Heartbleed all broke this week. And I kept thinking, there's somebody I can get on about this. Who is it? And I couldn't think. You know, sometimes you, you, the simplest thing, you can't click. And then I was driving in my car yesterday at about 5 o'clock, driving home, and it clicked. I got to get John McAfee on, see if he'll come on to tell us what he thinks about Heartbleed. I haven't talked to him. I don't know what he's going to say about Heartbleed. I don't know uh, what his take is. Sir, A, have I made anything that, any points that make sense? B, what do you think is going on with Heartbleed? And then tell us about your new free app that I talked to my IT folks, they said, no, it's a great way to protect yourself from things like Heartbleed. John, what do you Hello, think? Robert. Hey, good well, to have you with us. So you. so you, you've got the floor. Tell us what you think. Okay, well, the problem with Heartbleed is that over, well, approximately 70% of all uh, computers use the OpenSSL encryption technique to encrypt data. 
Uh, now, the problem with this is OpenSSL is a, is a volunteer organization composed of four people. There is no quality control. Now, this, this is one of the problems with open source code, that uh, American industry is using it, and it hasn't been tested properly. I mean, for example, in Microsoft, <coughs> there are at least 50 to 100 people in quality assurance that do nothing but test the software constantly. Uh, there are none in the open source uh, SSL group. Uh, they are relying on users uh, to report bugs. This is a terrible technique. 70% of all computers use a program that has had a major flaw for over two years. And this flaw allows hackers to get in and read encrypted mail, encrypted uh, communications of all kinds, uh, without our knowledge. Now, keep in mind, this has been going on for two years, and we just now discovered it. I think it's one of the problems with American corporations. Uh, they've become lazy. Uh, rather than building things in the proper way, uh, they rely on open source, which is free, and everybody goes, oh, this is great. This is good stuff. But this is what happens. 